she's the partner and never thought I'd have. She sounds damn near perfect. Damn near. But not quite. Ah. <laughs> no, that's good. That is good because uh, it's people's faults that make them human. So tell me about hers. Tell me what just... what drives you crazy about her. I don't know. She's stubborn, you know. She gets her teeth stuck in something. She's not gonna let go. She's got a lot more Erica in her than Bianca does. And she's passionate. That's good. Mm. Now it's, it's good at times, and at times it's it's not. It's a double-edged sword. I mean, she gets involved in things that I just don't... I just don't understand, and it's intriguing, and just one of those things that makes me love her. And she's, she's probably the strongest woman I've ever known. Yeah? Yeah. Then don't give up on her. I'm not giving up on her. But I'm not an idiot. Angie, may I come in? Yes, please. I'm sorry that Natalia sent for those ornaments. I don't think she knew how it would make you feel. Her memory should be on the tree as much as ours. It's Christmas. And sharing and, and selflessness, they're, they're part of what the holidays are all about. Yes, but Angie, this is your first Christmas with Jesse in 20 years. You know, I guess it was just a sudden reminder of all the years that Frankie and me m missed with him. That's all. Oh, Becca. I'm sorry. I, uh... I don't mean to do this. I've been trying to hold it together for you and for Natalia and for Frankie. And... Angie, I know why she insisted on hanging our old ornaments. It was always my favorite time of the year, and I don't think I'm going to make it to this Christmas. Thanks, Angie. Yes, I had Jesse for 20 wonderful Christmases, but you get to have him for all the rest. I'm sorry. I really, I didn't it's mean fine. to imply. It's okay. We both know that Kendall's heart's not going to hold up much longer. Uh, it's time for me to face reality. So I need the time that I've left with her to prepare for the time when she's gone. I have my boys to think about and her mother and her sister. Hey, I, I would love to believe in miracles, but I think right now I got to prepare for reality. For her sake as well as mine. Look, you're right. Okay, but... Once you've prepared for the worst, why don't you try and hope for the best? You have to believe in miracles. You have to believe it's possible, Zach. All of a sudden, the snow was just coming down so fast, and I couldn't see a thing, and then I skidded out of control, and with Gabrielle in the car seat screaming her head off, I was just so freaked out. Uh, I have to feed her, and I have some milk in, oh, in here somewhere. No, let, 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 me, let me hold her for you. I, I mean, Thank you. I, I can understand if you're not comfortable. Oh, Crystal. Thank you. The past is just that. Past. Especially now. She's beautiful. Thank you. You must be freezing. Um, why don't I get you some to warm you up, okay? Oh, yes, thanks, David. That sounds great. Oh, you know what? Uh, about some warm milk. It'll do you wonders. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll get you your own glass. Oh, well, no, I, I didn't even touch that one. Drink up. Thank you. 
people. Oh, that's nice. Mm. It's just amazing how coming home has just changed everything. I mean, in Paris, Reese and I had our own, our own little world. And then ever since I've come back here, everything's been so complicated. I mean, the, the tornadoes and, and Kendall. Of course, losing Babe. And there's something else, too. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, Reese, I just thought that I, I knew her so well. And now I just get this feeling. Wow, I'm talking a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I know what you mean. Pine Valley doesn't seem to be the same. In fact, I don't think it'll quite ever be the same again. It's funny, though. I, I haven't felt so relaxed since I've been back. I feel great. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I, 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 here I am going on about how good I feel and everything that you're going through. Are you doing okay? Well, it's still difficult. But I feel like, uh, I feel like she's with me, you know, and that, that helps. But hey, I, I know what you mean about feeling at ease in this house. I mean, maybe it's just an escape from everything. You know, life, like David said, shelter from the storm. I can't even imagine what you're going through. I wish that there was something that I could do to help take your pain away. Well, you know, right this second, there is something. What? Let me cuddle that sweet little girl oh, of yours. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh. Hello, gorgeous. Hey. Uh, what, what happened? Where did you go? What, what, what were you doing? I tried to move the car one more time. I put some stuff under the wheels and moved for a second, but we can't get it out. We got to wait for the snow plow. You know what? You're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. Come here. God, your hands are freezing. You, you, you could have you could have frozen to death out there. You know I this, can't right? sit here. I gotta get back there. I, I don't want to be here when she dies. Would you just look at me for a minute? Oh, come here. Come, come here. She's not gonna die. She's not going anywhere without you. And Zach, if this really is her time to go, she's gonna wait for you. Yeah, I, I understand. It's okay, oh, sweetheart. I know. I know. I'm sorry, too. Well, um, we'll talk soon, okay? I love you. Check this out. Tana. What's wrong? Uh, that was Cass. It looks like she won't make it for Christmas after all. Oh, baby. I'm sorry. It'll be the first one we've spent apart. Well, is there something wrong? Is Jacob sick or something? No, Jacob's fine. She really didn't tell me why. I mean, she knows what's going on here, and I, I don't think she wants to deal with the drama. I can understand that. <laughs> you know, we're having our first Christmas together in 20 years, and I'm sharing it with people I barely know. I mean, a tree filled with memories for you that mean nothing to me. And I, and I, and I hate feeling this way, Jesse. I really do, because I, I, I know that I shouldn't. You know what? You feel however the hell you want to feel. I was just holding on to the thought of Cass being here, you know, and now that she's not. It's okay. I'll be okay. We'll get through this Christmas, and we're just going to look forward to the next. Dad, Andy! It's Mom. She passed out. I don't think she's breathing. Come on. 